Hey, Matt here with Asking Holsters. Uh, this has nothing to do with holsters, but it's fishing season and I'm getting asked nonstop every day what we're using to catch our fish. First off, we're going to show you our tuna recipe. We're using chicken of the sea, tuna, and oil. Pretty easy. Drain off the excess grease oil. Give it a good squeeze. Put it in the bowl, scoop it out. The next one, I'll usually put just a little bit of that oil in the first can in case my tuna ends up a little bit dry. Take, scoop that into there. Drop one of these gloves. All right, so this is what we're using. We have sea salt. I buy this in bulk at Winco. It's in their tubs. And we're gonna use two thirds of a cup of sea salt. Everyone's like, that's a lot. Well, that's what we use and it catches fish. There's one third, two thirds. Granulated garlic, doesn't matter which brand. I. Haven't found one that works better than the other. We're going to put a teaspoon of that in there. Slam bowl of powder. We're going to go ahead and put a teaspoon of that in there. And powdered krill. We're going to put a teaspoon of that in there. I go in this order because I use my garlic to cook with too and I don't want to mix krill in with it. Doesn't taste very good. Then I might use this Mike's Extra Strength Gel Scent Garlic. You can use this one or they have one in a green bottle. They both work the same. It's not rocket science. I just squirt about that much in. And then that's it. Then all you do, mix it up really good. Check the consistency of it. I give it a little squeeze. If I can get some oil dripping out, that's good. I'm not gonna add any extra oil to that. Anyway, that's all there is to our tuna recipe. Now, we'll give you a little demonstration of how we're fishing it. So, we're running our rods. We run a slide swivel, bead chain, another swivel. I got a bumper. 24 inch bumper line to my Pro Troll 11 inch flasher. 12 ounce weight. We hook that right there on our slide swivel. And then what has been hot for us is the rotten banana. The Christine, you can see the salmon have hammered this. Paint's missing off of it. I'll still fish it, it still works. We're running a 42 inch leader length. That's worked great for us. Double three out hooks. We don't run the factory hooks that come with it. We rip them off. We put five 10 millimeter beads below it. Two hooks tied up two inches apart. And that's it. We run that out. We've been fishing right on the bottom, about two feet off the bottom. So we'll let it go out, hits bottom, give it a crank or two up, put it in your rod holder, do a nice slow troll and watch that pole have a nice heartbeat. Anyway, if you have any more questions, give us a holler. But we've uh, we put about 18 fish in the freezer this week, so it's been working for us. Thanks, guys.